Now, some activists are demanding an end to what they described as the mischievous use of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's platform to malign uh, perceived enemies by opposition forces. But the activists who frowned at the consistent call for anarchy in a democratic setting by those that their investigations had established to be working for known opposition called on the EFCC to ignore the sponsored desperate cause and focus on towing the path of the rule of law. Now, the human rights civil society organizations under the broad umbrella of citizens' action against lawlessness said those calling for the EFCC to ignore an ongoing court process and forcefully arrest a defendant, former governor Yahaya Bilu, uh, were not only ignorant of the rule of law. The activist commended the EFCC for heeding the cause of uh, reasonable, unbiased Nigerians and CSOs for the commission to correct past mistakes and avoid disregard for the rule of law. Governorship candidate of SDP in Kogi State, the person of Muria Jaka, called for state of emergency in the states because they, are, they, are, they have not, they, uh, the, the wound, they are, they are not out of the, uh, the electoral trauma that they went to. They are trying every means. These oppositions are putting every resources together just to cause anarchy in the states so that the, 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 the federal government can declare a state of emergency in Kogi states. We are saying that, look, EFCC, you have to do your job. We are not saying you shouldn't do your job. But I must tell you this, that, look, we should not politicize EFCC. We should always obey the, the rule of law. Somebody that, the, that you have, you, you, you have arranged in court that has a date to show up at the court. I don't know why the, the oppositions in the state are trying everything possible to bring the former governor Yayabelo down.